globally the whole world is looking at 6g in its inception phase at this point of time 6g what would 6g be how would it look like what are the parameters what are the technical specifications these are the things on which work is going on all over the world it appears from discussions at itu and other international fora it appears that 6g will become a a uh, commercially deployable technology by 2029 that is why we should start today so that by the time the technology standards are getting prepared we are also part of the game we have a seat on the table and we become a major contributor well that's a good point uh, while we are still rolling out 5g we are also working towards 6g and earlier the better uh, i want to take up the issue of manufacturing and this is a point that has come up during the day at the tech today congress several comments being made about how important uh, uh, manufacturing was including for example in the semiconductor uh, sector and over 20 years ago i am reminded when we uh, calling party pays was introduced almost uh, to to the same time where do we stand as far as manufacturing is concerned this drive towards atmanirbhar bharat in the entire electronics uh you know uh, system including mobile handsets semiconductors eventually what is the scope see 10 years back electronics manufacturing was practically negligible today we have crossed a major milestone of 100 billion dollars 105 billion dollars to be precise mm. so it's a huge jump and not only mobile phones but various deep tech high tech devices for example the uh, telecom in the telecom sector very high speed high capacity routers radio equipment very sophisticated radio equipment very sophisticated microwave equipment e band radios all these things are now designed in india manufactured in india and quite a large consignment is being exported out of the country to europe to us to japan so that kind of process has set in today and it's a very exciting journey because electronics manufacturing was almost uh, 17% cagr over the last 7 uh, years 8 years so at this pace if we grow we are all set to be a 300 billion dollar manufacturing country over the next 4 5 years 